Hey, what's going on, pros and presses? It's KMJ and Hedges123, and welcome to another drinks review. Today it's going to be on Lucozade, and it's going to be on the citrus clear flavour. Um, so I got this particular drink out of a 99p store, and it was in the offer 2 for 99p or 50p, if you want to make it easy. Um, so yeah, citrus clear. I've never actually seen citrus clear in like the supermarkets, like the main shops. Um, I've never actually, I said I've never heard of citrus clear flavour before. Um, but I ended up in the 99p store somehow, but uh, yeah. So give you guys just a full look of the uh, bottle. Again, not too much to see because it's just a bit of green. Um, and then of course we have a silver cap, but obviously nothing special on the bottom. Um, so there's a spill on the back here, I'm just going to read you guys. So, powered by glucose. Glucose, it's time for that moment when you need it most, when energy and the good times flow. Whatever you do, do it with energy. So yeah. Um, but there's one more thing. I was actually reading the guideline daily allowance of your, you know, your sugars and salts and stuff, and I am, I'm, I am speechless on how much sugar this small bottle contains. This is the smaller than average bottle, as you can see. It's 380 milliliters, so it's smaller than the average bigger bottle you get, um, and you've obviously got the big massive ones. But the amount of sugar in here, I was absolutely shocked. I was unbelievably shocked. Seriously, guys. So it contains 12% calories and 0% fat, saturated, some less than 1% salt. The amount of sugar this contains is absolutely ridiculous. It contains not 20%, not 30%, not 40%, it contains 53% of your guideline daily allowance of sugar. 53%, that's over half of your sugar just in this small little bottle. 47.9 grams of sugar. That is absolutely ridiculous. 53% sugar in there. That is really, really bad. I know Lucozade is sugary and stuff, but a small Coca can, you know, a small, you know, little Coca can contains like, I think like 38%. 53%, that is ridiculous. Just in that, I mean, that, that is really bad, guys. Um, but as a result, I don't think it has any sweeteners in it. Let's have a look. Um, and, uh, nope, doesn't seem like it has any sweeteners in it at all, but that's so much sugar, guys. Jesus. But nevertheless, it's nice and cold. I have got cup. Let's get straight into it. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. Um, the color again. I think it's just going to be clear or light green tinge. Honestly, I think it's, it's just going to taste of a lemony type, citrusy type flavor. Obviously, so I mean that sugar content is unreal. Seriously, that's relenting. So anyway, let's go. So, yeah, it's pretty much see-through. Um, the only reason you can tell that it's not water is the bubbles. If it didn't have any um, bubbles, you could tell it's water just by having it sitting down there. So really, really clear, really, really see-through. The smell... It smells of li lime, actually. Mm, it smells of limey a bit, but nevertheless, let's taste some. That is actually quite nice. Um, again, it's full of sugar, so obviously it's got the nat you know sugar sweetener. But um, regardless, though, it's actually quite a nice flavour. I don't mind lemon lime mixed together, citrus flavour mixed together. Um, it is actually quite nice. To be honest, you can taste more of more of lime than anything else. It's like I described I, I described this a lot in other drinks when there's two blends in one. They always there's always like a weaker blend of each drink put together. So it's kind of like, but I mean, definitely in this one though. There's definitely more lime, definitely more lime than lemon uh, than anything else. Um, yeah, so that's um, that is really nice, guys. I definitely get a thumbs up for me. Um, but again, the sugar content, that's unrelenting. That is unrelenting just in a small bowl like that. That is unbelievable. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all later.